Interstitial lung disease is an umbrella term that's used to describe uh, disorders of the actual tissues of the lung. So a lot of the time we focus on airway disorders, so the route that air takes in and out of the lungs, and these include things like COPD, bronchiectasis, and asthma. However, interstitial lung disease is actually talking about the lung tissues that these gases pass through. So in this diagram, we have a single alveolus, and I've pointed out which bit counts as the interstitium. And we can see that if it's thickened and fibrotic, it means that the gases aren't able to pass through it, and hence gas exchange is compromised. So causes include idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, where it tends to happen for no real reason whatsoever. It's associated with various autoimmune diseases, such as SLE. Uh, it can be caused by inorganic dust, such as a pneumoconiosis, or organic dust, such as extrinsic allergic alveolitis. And there's also a bunch of medications, such as amiodarone and nitrofurantoin, which can cause uh, quite troublesome interstitial lung disease. The first line imaging option used for interstitial lung disease is a high resolution CT scan, which can really help evaluate how the lung tissue is structured. To really nail down a diagnosis and to figure out what the cause may be, a lung biopsy is required, and sometimes spirometry may also be useful because it can demonstrate a restrictive pattern. With regards to management, uh, a lot of the time there isn't a whole lot that can be done. So stopping smoking is obviously important because you don't want to damage the lungs any further. Pulmonary rehab is again very important to try and clear these airways and facilitate uh, the patient's ability to breathe. There is a medication called perfenidone which has been shown to have some uh, beneficial effect in patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Some patients who have um, interstitial lung disease as a consequence of autoimmune diseases may respond well to steroids and some may require a lung transplant.